Welcome to Gulf Beach Baptist Church, the church at the beach. My name is Debbie Hunt, and this has been my church for over half of a century. Today, it is my honor to be your host for a very special nostalgic trip down memory lane. Come see what God has been doing at Gulf Beach Baptist Church for over 75 years. This year, Gulf Beach Baptist Church turns 75 years old as we celebrate the homecoming of our current location that was dedicated on March 9, 1997. I bet you didn't know some interesting facts about our church. Did you know that this is actually the third location? The first location for Gulf Beach Baptist Church was called the Little White Church, which stood pretty close to where I'm standing today. Behind me, you'll see Super Walmart, but back in the day, it was the Petticoat Junction Amusement Park. Mr. Guy Churchwell donated the land and the newly constructed church facility was dedicated on April 9, 1944. And during this dedication ceremony, 10 charter members sat on cane bottom chairs and the present day name, Gulf Beach Baptist Church, was pulled from a hat. You know, believe it or not, at the Little White Church, they used to baptize the new believers in this little stream behind me. Woo, Dr. G, you know that water was cold. My parents started attending the church back in the late 50s, right about the same time that Reverend J.C. Falk the helm as the pastor. My dad led the singing and my mom played the piano. And as a little girl, my fondest memories of the Little White Church was Back then, the train depot sat within yards of the church, so if Brother Falk was not done preaching at high noon, the train taking the tourists to Tombstone Territory would blow its whistle loudly when it left the depot. As the train pulled away from the depot and gained speed, everything in the church shook so loudly that it felt and sounded just like an earthquake. Brother Falk would just have to stop, chuckle, and dismiss us. Years later, under Brother Falk's leadership, the construction of the second location was completed and the new sanctuary located along the Signal Hill Golf Course on Thomas Drive was dedicated on March 9, 1969 with this church-wide challenge by Brother Falk. It is our prayer that we continue to be the lighthouse that we should be on the beaches. I grew up at this location with many lifelong memories from vacation Bible school to adulthood. Oh, let's not forget the occasional broken window as some poor golfer's wild shot would come crashing through a window, usually right in the middle of Sunday school. In February of 1979, yeah, 40 years ago, uh, I was down here for a couple of weeks working on the general purpose computer system on the Navy base with the prospect of moving to this area. I'd spent time while I was here. Uh, looking at real estate in the neighborhood. I happened to be on Thomas Drive and I ran by Gulf Beach Baptist Church, a big A-frame building. There was a sign out front that said, don't try to turn over a new leaf, let God rake your whole yard. And so I decided that following Sunday morning I would get up and join them for church. And that was the beginning of my relationship with Gulf Beach Baptist Church. August 20th, 1989, Brother Gregory E. George answered the call as pastor of Gulf Beach Baptist Church. Under his leadership, the current facility was constructed and dedicated on March 9, 1997. You know, as I look through all these pictures, it uh, just brings back so many memories and uh, a number of people that uh, were uh, part of our church that are now with the Lord, uh, but yet they had foundational pieces in making this church a reality. Uh, I had kind of forgotten about the tents and parking out here uh, in compacted sand, uh, and uh, certainly I remember the building committee that uh, is featured here in the 
groundbreaking, uh, especially Jut Stroud, who was the general contractor, and God just raised him up to make this church a reality. Under the careful eye of the late Judd Stroud, he made sure that construction not only met building codes, but exceeded every building code in place, so that this facility would withstand just about anything and be ready to meet the future needs and growth of our church. If it asked for one to two feet of foundation, he built four. If it asked for uh, a column to be poured in the block every eight feet, he poured one every four feet. If it called for two tie-down rods, he put four. And if it called for one hurricane clip, he put two. And if it called for a two by four, he put a two by six. And uh, man, this is the safest place on the beach. Because our church, led by a group of men and women that were obedient to God's direction and guidance and went beyond what was expected, this facility has survived many storms to include the strongest storm to hit the United States with only a few scratches. That, my friend, is a testament to God's favor on Gulf Beach Baptist Church. You know, I was just uh, reminded as I was looking at the central, central piece that ties the church together, you know, the, the cross and Rebecca Daffin whose daughter was killed on Back Beach Road and donated the cross that's on the front of our building. And... Folks, I hope you've enjoyed our snapshot of the last 75 yesteryears of Gulf Beach Baptist Church. The lighthouse on the beach, that is still growing and glowing. Now, please stand and join us in singing because there's no one like our God.